I'm on the uh, footpad in Houston. As I step off at the surface at Taurus Littrell, we'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. Jack, I'm out here. Oh my golly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but is it bright in the sun? Okay. We landed in a very shallow depression. Uh, that's why we've got a slight pitch up angle. Very shallow. Uh, uh, dinner plate like this uh, crater, just about the uh, the width of uh, of the struts. How you doing, Jack? Fine. Getting the sugar breakers verified. The lead looks beautiful. tracks coming down. Let me see exactly where we are. I think I may be just in front of Punk. Okay, we copy that, Gene, and uh, the boulder tracks are I'm both the north and south. Okay, on the north massif, we've got uh, very obvious boulder tracks. Uh, a couple of uh, large boulders come within uh, 20 or 30 feet of the, uh, it looks like where we can get to them, but there's a couple, there's a couple I know we can get to. They're, uh, well, the sun angle is such that uh, what I saw on the uh, south receipt earlier, I can't see very well, but I know there were boulder tracks over there. The uh, Bear Mountain, boy, it's hard to look to the Bear Mountain and the Sculptured Hills, uh, have a very, very uh, similar texture on the surface. Uh, the sculptured hills is like the wrinkled skin of an old, old, hundred-year-old man. Is probably the best way I can put it. Very, very hummocky, and uh, but smoothly pot marked. I do not see any boulders up on the sculptured hills from here. But it's awful hard to look to the east and to the southeast. Okay, we copy that, Gene. You got an LMP with you yet? Man, I, here come his feet, Jack. Let me make sure. Uh, we didn't uh, we didn't have a, an awful lot of dust on landing, but uh, I can dig my foot in uh, eight or ten inches, and I know we're at least that thick. There's a small little one meter crater right in front of us with a whole mess of glass right in the middle. Right, smack, not right in front of the Mesa, as a matter of fact, right where I want to park the rover. Jack, you're looking good. Beautiful, guys, beautiful. I'm going to take a quick look back. I think this is Poppy, and I can give you a real better idea where we are. Hatch is closed. Barely. Hey, Jack, don't lock it. I'm not going to lock it. we gotta, we got to go back there. You lose the key, and we're in trouble. Oh, I'm on a porch. Who said this place was smooth? Oh boy. There's a there's a lot of local depressions here. I didn't uh, I didn't figure existed. Hey, who's been tracking up my lunar surface? Hey Bob, as I I'm east of the limb now. I'm east of the limb and. Uh, and the uh, back strut of the lamb is, uh, well, the lamb straddles a, uh, this crater I talked about, and that's where we get the pitch angle. The back strut is probably right down in the, uh, in the eastern one-third of that crater, just a little, very subtle crater. Hey, hey, man, you had some forward velocity. That's what I wanted to have. Well, I look at some of these, uh, some of these uh, racks that are uh, filleted here, Jack, and there's sure a lot of sparklies in them. Awful lot of sparklies. You landed in a crater. The 
pretty good shot. Okay, I'm going to get to work in a minute just as soon as I take a look at Triton. Why don't you come over here and let me deploy your antenna? Okay. Just walk around for one <laughs> second. Hey, man. Put your visor down. And I'll be over there and you can fix my uh, tool harness. I don't like that thing loose. I don't like it loose either. What are you doing over there? We're supposed to be working. I'm just going to give them a fix. All these little critters, Jack, have got glass in the bottom of them. Here's another one. It's very clear uh, sweeping of the surface by the decent uh, plume uh, out uh, oh, about 10 meters now, 15 meters. Come over here and I'll fix your antenna, okay? Hey, Bob, how big is Poppy supposed to be? Stand by. Yeah, it looks on the map... I didn't hear you. You cut out. Okay, it looks on the map like it's about 75 meters in diameter. Fairly subtle. Okay, uh... Okay, I'll tell you where I think I landed. Uh... Oh, about 100 meters, uh... From Poppy at 10 o'clock. You think that's Poppy, huh? I think so. I think uh, that's an awful big hole. Well, I know. I got to look around a little more. It sure is not Trident. Bend over. I'll get well, your antenna. That might be part of Trident. Get your antenna. Oh, a little more. God, it's beautiful out here. Nope. Hang on. Yep. Okay. Uh, the immediate yeah. surface. Yeah, go you talk to him. I don't want you to see it up yet. The surface uh, is uh, moderately uh, cohesive. With, it holds a pretty good boot print. Very fine grain. Jeans hanging around. Looks very much like uh, previous soils. You got her? Yeah. Oh, you got a hole behind you. Well, I'll stand it. You can get at it better. Well, you got me right in the sun. Can you come okay. around this way? Oh-ho. Get upstream of you. Look, you get up on a hill yeah. and I'll get in the hole. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't move too fast. Boy, your your feet look like you just, just walked on the moon, huh? Well, I tell you, Gene, I think uh, next generation ought to accept this as a challenge. I see them leave footsteps like these someday. Got another. Uh, that'll be all right. Okay, what can you do with my tool harness? I'm going to work on it. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, hold still. Okay. Boy, I tell you, looking to the east, you might just well forget it. Well, let's see. How's this thing? I'm going to have to loosen it. Now, uh, if you could just stretch it around. I can't. You can't, huh? But I will be in a minute. Don't loosen it to the point where you can't get it back on. Oh. Okay, you're almost reconfigured. Okay. Okay. Buddy, somebody tied you on wrong, too. They've got the strap reversed for the Velcro. Okay, Gene. I think that'll hold. Okay, and I'm going to... I'll fix you again. And there's sparklies in the soil, Jack. You can just look at it. See them all over? Very fine grain. Just sparklies, that's all. Bob, I'm going to uh, do a min cooling, or uh, intermediate cooling. Okay, copy that. Boy, that's... Uh, See the soil sparkle? Yeah, I think that's a little glass. There's a, let's go back here and get to work and I'll show you that crater that's got nothing but glass in the bottom. That's a vesicular rock of some kind there, Gino. It almost looks like a mono crater's pumice, but don't quote me. Bob, I have to reiterate, uh, even the small, even the very small, the one and two inch, three inch uh, 
fragments that are laying around here have been dusted and filleted with the uh, dark mantle. And that uh, sweeping by the descent stage goes all the way out to Houston to where we were, which is about 50 meters, I guess. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, these rocks, uh, they almost have a pink, very light pinky shoe to them. And they're not, uh, they're not obviously breccia. Now, that, that's a, like a breccia there. But this does something else again. I don't think there's any place you could land around here where you wouldn't have one foot in the crater. Looks like a vesicular, uh, a very uh, light-colored uh, porphyry of some kind. About uh, 10 or 15 percent vesicles. I'm right in front of the limb. They, uh, quite a few of the rocks look of that type. Sort of a pinky shoe to them. The texture is coarse, but I'm not sure how crystalline they are yet. Okay, back to work. Jack, when you put up the ETB, the uh, check down there below it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me take a look at the rover. Let's don't forget those. Yep. That's my fault, I guess. Yep. Okay. Oh, man, I tell you, we came down uh, just a little forward velocity. Look at that. Right there. About a foot slip on the pad. I tell you, there's craters all over here. Okay, baby. I'd sure like to think that that wheel's where it's supposed to be. It looks good to me. Our next little vehicle to work. So far, the rover looks pretty good. Roger, sounds good, Gino. And let me ask you, uh, when I was I was behind the lamb, I could look right into an area and see the uh, bell of the asset stage. I never realized that before, but I guess that's normal, huh? Yeah, we saw it on a pad, remember? Barely. Remember when we went out there? The only reason I asked, Bob, I, I'm sure it's normal, and it doesn't look like anything's missing. It's just right, right into the sun. Yeah, the consensus of opinion down here is that you can also. Well, that's probably the best place in the world to get a consensus of opinion from. Okay, Jack. It's about work time. I've got this rover about ready for I, I, got, there. I got a little delayed here. Okay. Sure go. Glad those guys made us train so hard. Okay, the mace is up. Let me know when you're ready to deploy. Okay. Babe, I am uh, I am ready for you. Everything I can see is pretty good. The walking hinges, you will be glad to know, are intact. They did not drop. Uh, Roger, that's a first. Let me go up there and do that, huh? Yes, sir. The beginning. You ready for me to deploy? Okay, let me just double check. Drape continues to and still have the floor cable verify walking hinge forward and have chassis parallel they are. Base the insulation's not coming off as easy as in training. Okay. All rigger cables are taut. Looking good to me. Yeah, Jack, you can go on up. Go on up. Okay. I'm ready for you. Got it. Lem is a pretty size. Challenger, you're a beauty. Oh, oh, let's see how good I am. Don't drop that. Let me get that thing again. Yes, sir. Uh, 
You're pretty agile there, Twinkle Toes. You bet your uh, <laughs> life I am. <laughs> All I ask you to do is pull that handle up there. <laughs> Man, anything you grab, Jack. I just grabbed this lanyard that was in the dust. It's really black. You ready? Go. He fell, Houston. She's open. Okay, you got parallel chassis. The wheels look good on this side. Okay, they're good on this side. Let's get down and let's get it out. <laughs> 